Well, hey there, thanks for tuning in to the teacher version of the Place Value Game. Now, if you haven't actually seen the student version, make sure you click on the link in the description below so you can see how the game actually works so that it actually makes sense to you when you go through and watch the video. All right, let's cut to the intro. Now my name is Tom Moore and I've used this activity a number of times with my students. But like any other activity, once you go through and play it a few times, students catch on to it and they find it a little bit boring because they've done it a number of times already. So it's always good to have a few extensions up your sleeve so that you can continue to challenge them. Now there's a number of ways you can extend this activity. For example, as you can see here, I have my lowest to highest up the top in the first game, but then of course I've got my highest to lowest that you can see there. Now the key point here is once again, you just wanna introduce students to the terminology ascending and descending. So that what that means, ascending obviously means meaning that it goes up, descending that it means that it's going down. And also they're thinking about place value as well. So it depends on which numbers they roll, will depend on where they wanna place the, what place value they wanna use in terms of where they put it. Now there's another way that you can extend the activity as well, and that's through using the game boards that are on the second page of the handout, which of course you can find in the description below. And essentially how this works is you can see on your screen here that it's the same game as before, but essentially you've got two pathways now, and what you, whatever you put in there has to work for both pathways. So for example, you can see here I've got two, seven, 10, and then you can see that these are in ascending order as they go along this pathway here, but then they're also in ascending order as they come along this pathway here. And it must work for both pathways in order for the students to pull it off. And if it doesn't work anywhere, then therefore they haven't been successful. So that's the whole idea of the game. Now, if I wanna quickly go through and just play, for example, again, you can see one and two or two and one, so that could be 21 or 12. I might wanna put the 12 here. And therefore whatever goes here has to be higher than 12. Let me just play one more time. One and four, well that's gonna be perfect, so 14. And so whatever goes here, this one here and this one here must be higher than 14. And of course, you've got the game below, which is the same thing, but you're going in descending order. So that is from highest to lowest, because that's one of the key things that we're looking at, ascending and descending order. And of course, you're thinking about place value as well. So if you like this activity, guys, make sure you click on the link that's just up here now, so that you can go through and watch all of the other videos that Maths Pathway has gone through and developed, and that you can use with your classes as well. And also, if you did like it, make sure you remember to like, comment, and subscribe to hear all about what Maths Pathway is getting up to in terms of sharing activities and resources with you. Thank you very much for tuning in. My name's Tom Moore.